there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're here doing some more of our retro corner. Yes. <laughs> the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, <laughs> draw. Oh. Um, so, I hear about Real Combi as well, and we're playing some retro games. And we're kind of like pushing the line of what retro is a little bit because we've done a few videos in the series that were all Sonic games. Pretty much. And Sonic has pretty much hit past his 25th, 30th, 35th, 25th, 30th. Still a young man, actually. Yes, yeah, Sonic is pretty much, well, yeah, because if Sonic's a young man, we're a young man. Young man. Yeah, we're young yeah. man. Just had a rat. Just had a fucking Harry Enfield. Uh, <laughs> young, young, young man. Young man. Young man. Young man. Young man. Um, all day. <laughs> Uh, we we, we <laughs> played through some of the classic Sonic games, and because classic Sonic kind of leads to modern Sonic, and over the time we kind of like realized we don't like modern Sonic. Uh, you haven't played much of the Sonic Adventure series, have you? No. Yeah, I played. I played all of them. I played most of. I pretty much played every Sonic game there is. Wait, what country did Sonic represent in Mario vs. Sonic in the Olympics? They didn't represent countries. They just he chose a character and then chose a country. Oh, okay. So they didn't represent countries individually. They just. You chose but if, your if Sonic had to represent the country he was made in? Yeah, but that's the thing, he would either represent Japan or America, but I think Sonic is more American than he is Japanese, in a lot of ways. But he, he, was, a larger, he was a larger figurehead for Sega in uh, America than he was in Japan, I suppose, in a lot of ways. But um, anyway, I like Mario. So Hitler was a flagship man for everything? <laughs> yeah, he, he, is the, he is the Japanese everyman? He's the Japanese everyman, yet he's Italian. Yep, exactly. It's a me, not the Mario. Uh, Sonic Generations was a celebration of the Sonic series up until the point that it was released. So it has every game in it in its own way. So it has levels from Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Chaotix. I mean, I didn't have to do, do those last three videos, and I could have had my sanity for this one game. Yeah. <laughs> you bastard. I am, you I am a sadist. I am a true <laughs> sadist, sir. I, I was planning on you actually getting to this point, and then letting you decide, do I like classic Sonic or modern Sonic? Because the classic Sonic has driven you to the edge a couple of times so far. So <laughs> maybe, maybe you could actually be the one, the one and only champion for modern Sonic. Maybe. Because he plays differently. So, we're going to let you give this a try. Let me? Yeah. <laughs> let you. you let, let you. Just bring, bring the pleasure of it. Well, this is Sonic Generations, folks. Um, I had told so many stories in the previous videos about the development history of Sonic, little bits and tidbits of information I know about its development, and uh, little tidbits about the games themselves. Now, Sonic Generations, because of it being kind of like a cavalcade of everything, I'm just going to throw a mishmash of some of those stories together and some of the other knowledge from the series that I... What the shit was that? That's the new Sega one. That's the modern Sega one. Sega. I sound like I'm Optimus Prime. Transform and throw out. No, Iron Eye. We don't have enough energy cubes for a full scale assault. Ready the shuttle for launch. Sorry, uh, I was uh, doing the music. And I was doing my Optimus Prime impression. <laughs> so, uh, go to your new game. Uh, pfft, who cares? I like Generation Force. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in fact, the PS3 can only see one copy of game. If you take damage when you have no rings left, you lose a life! Wow, thanks for dumb. Oh, sweet shit, all made it. Welcome to Song Generations! Is there a door I can exit out of? <laughs> He's going, nope, I'm done. Um. A kid or. Is that a range move? Crash Bandicoot? Yep. Oh, wait, oh, fuck, he's with me. Okay, whoa, 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 that is, that's motion blurring the shit out of, I am going blind. <laughs> you're not, you're not handling this very well, are you? No, not really. No, it's not going well. Sonic, what the sh, what? Oh, what the shit was that about? You jump from the background plane to the front plane. Well, at least I didn't get it chucked off United Airlines plane. Yep. <laughs> but you are feeling a bit beaten up, aren't you? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> At least that still works. Fucking right. Ah. So, like, literally, this is a remake of the original Green Hell Zone, obviously. Pretty much. Well, he looks more violent than before. Oh. Yes, because he is. And you chose to wait until he had his explosions ready. Just like that again. Kill him anytime he's not. He's behind the. 
He's in the plan. He's a uh, damn it. <laughs> it does remind me of your first try at uh go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck all of the fucking fucks. <laughs> Where's that cunt and just shoot me in the face? <laughs> oh great! That's what- Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Don't be doing that. Don't be doing- No! Damn you and Tenzo, my child. Oh crap. What do you mean I've got to complete? What do you mean I've got to complete the level of the jump? <laughs> Tell, it's telling you to press a button. No, no, that's not. <laughs> it told you square. <laughs> it literally <laughs> told you. <laughs> I had square. Well, facing the thing, it told you to press square on. Let go. I don't want to let go. <laughs> let go, Jack. Can I go back. Let to go. The past? Crap. Gonna have to find somebody there for 10 minutes. <laughs> That'll be a really interesting Oh, what the video. fuck was that? You glitched the same as you did when you were in Chemical Plant Zone. Do <laughs> that. So, see the way he runs with the kind of like this run cycle, the bigger weight feet? It reminds me a lot of the run cycle that they added in for Song CD, remember? Whenever he's actually going like as fast as he possibly can go, yeah. rather than just that spinning feet movement. So, it, it's like Generations purposefully kind of lists little bits and pieces from the entirety of the canon for that version of the character. So, this is classic Sonic, which is Sonic 1, you bastard. Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. Um, rather than actually like worrying about uh, any of the other games in the series, which uh, all kind of like from the point of uh, Sonic Adventure onwards are considered modern Sonic. Essentially, the ones where every Sonic started to speak. Fucking dirty. Fucking. <laughs> Do you think it's like, is it just about you can't see the hitbox for it so that you keep from them? Yeah, I just can't wait to get to the boss. <laughs> Yeah, well, there won't be a boss at the end of this level. It'll be um, just end of level. Yeah, but I mean, I can't, can't wait get, can't wait to get to and see how shit I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> don't, don't put yourself down, man. Don't put yourself down. It's it, it's just practice. Well, I'm gonna put myself down because if I let the internet do it, it's only, gonna get, <laughs> it's only gonna get worse. Oh, I wouldn't worry about the internet. Ah, neither do I. See, we don't worry about you trolls. Give us, give him your worst. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Right. Um, I know. Speedy times! Ooh, nice corkscrew. To be fair, I didn't think I was going to make it through there. Boom! Success! Oh, even the thing? It even does the old thumbs look the same. So this is, that was classic Sonic. That's your experience of classic Sonic. In Sonic Generations, is there a does, it, does it does it feel similar to the actual like the? It does seem a bit familiar to the the, the, the original the mechanics, the floatiness of the character. Maybe, the spin is, there, is there like a way I can turn it from like three D and just like 3D, squish it, just squish it down? Squish it down. I don't want my two D back. I don't want to yep. squish down. Yep. Um, no, wait, wait until you try Modern Sonic then. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, you for cutscene content. <laughs> Obviously, with the transition from classic oh, yeah. to modern, you're going to have a much more kind of like uh, modern Sonic was fairly cutscene heavy. <laughs> like, I mean, a lot of this talking stuff. Uh, we uh, obviously have creatures and characters that we're going to run into. Yeah, it's going to all Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Wait, did they lift that spit out of Doctor Who? No, Sonic CD. So, this is the rest of the Sonic family. Uh, okay. Uh, you have Sonic and Tails, but watch the rest of them appear. Surprise! Who do you recognize in that? Amy Rose. All right, and the girl Rush from, from Sonic Rush in the background. Knuckles. Please. Knuckles. Don't know who the fuck that is. 
or entities, except that we had no cunt from the start of this game. And the purple girl, oh no, that's actually a different chow. That's just a chow. That was an army chow. Right, um... Happy birthday, Sonic. I beat you to your birthday, even though you're faster than me. It's a chili dog! Oh god, I, I forgot he loved chili dogs. Man, I'm not, I don't remember, I don't remember the crack. Uh, they're all from, uh, Chaotix, which was a Knuckles-only game that came out in 32X. Huh. Charmy B, Chaotix, and Espio. Get the hot dog, get the hot dog, save it, save it, save it, save it, save it, it's too late! It's the, still on the airport, it's still on the airport! It's coming to <laughs> rain on your, your party. It's raining on your party. It's coming to rain on your parade. Oh, what a lovely tea party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie B goes first. All right. So essentially, this is going to be a so rescue wait. friend story. Hmm? Oh, wait. It's not a hedgehog. Uh, right. Yo, right. Amy Rose is a hedgehog, but yep. uh, the white one is Rouge the Bat, and the red one, or the purplish one, is Blaze from Sonic Rush, which you played on the DS. Ah, uh, okay. Sonic, you got to get faster. <clears throat> How else are you going to take down uh, Reverse Flash? <laughs> reverse, reverse, reverse Sonic. Reverse Sonic. Oh no. Are you, which is Metal Sonic. <laughs> yeah. It actually is a Reverse Sonic. Which predates. Nope. Don't even go there. That's just too much. <laughs> no. No. You're going to tell me Michael Jackson has something to do with that too. So essentially at this point in the game uh, it explains that uh, all of reality has been sucked away by those feature, that creature. Okay. And all that's left is little fragments and you have to try and rescue everything. So that's why it makes sense that there's a one level from that game and one level from that game. So it's all the Sonic history, just kind of like encapsulated in these little boxes. So pretty much this is Sonic Flashpoint. Yep, Sonic Flashpoint. Grand. Uh, more like um, more like the nexus of Sonic realities more than anything else. Yeah, I like Sonic Flashpoint more. <laughs> <laughs> but that's if you change the past and then it would be a different reality. This is actually just a fragment of each reality. Oh, so it's like, oh, so it's more like DC's Legends of Tomorrow where they can mess around with the reality stuff? Yeah, yeah. So the way it works is you have to actually go, you go from world to world and unlock a world as you go along. Press L up. There we go. There's the stage. So this will be Act 2. This will be a modern Sonic version of the level. This is exactly the same level you just played. Exactly uh, the same level. Uh, but with modern Sonic instead. You better be able to drop kick. Oh, shit, bags. Have fun. Thanks. You better be able to drop kick someone. Hey, wow, <laughs> Sonic in the future likes rock and roll. <laughs> That's targeting system. So do your jumps and then you press X again to actually like boost into things. So whenever you see that zero in, that means you can actually jump and then it targets it and you zoom in. So jump, jump, and then there you go. You zoom into each thing. This is how you play the modern Sonic games. This is from Sonic Adventure onwards, was played like this. You can't go back. You don't you don't want to spin dash, you don't go back, you always go forward. Never ever turn around. There you go. And now you jump from real to real. I would, but I can be bothered. <laughs> and you get a boost by doing that. So how does that feel to you? It's like I've just gone deaf. That's, <laughs> that's just on our side of things. Yeah, no, that's because we actually we probably should have thought about that winner because this game is actually insanely loud. So the um, we have to pronounce. I know you said obstacles, but I'm pretty sure it sounds like testicles. <laughs> uh, it, it it makes mistakes sometimes. Bounce on the bounce on the pole. That's what I tried to do. Jump up higher, there you go. Uh. So literally we, <laughs> this is the same world, same place, literally the same map that we just played on. Like now we're on the 2D version, there we go. But this is the way most of the um, the, the modern Sonic games played through. You kind of kept switching from that behind perspective to a side perspective for a short period of time. Wait, that previous, did the previous level have water? <laughs> yeah, it was just we, we had waterfalls coming down, but there's actually looking at them from a different angle. Oh, uh, no, no water. Oh, okay, I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> yep. Boosting through. You press left or right and you'll actually jump lanes. And then you can boost out. No, don't do that. But that's how you die. Yeah, that's don't jump hard. off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, there literally is a sonic boom in our ears every time you use that. Yep. <laughs> So um, the modern Sonic experience starts with Sonic Adventure, <laughs> Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, um, the much maligned Sonic 06, uh, which was an attempt to reboot the Sonic franchise whenever it was going to the Xbox 360 and uh, the PlayStation. Uh, the biggest problem they had with it was they had like a really, really truncated timetable. They just didn't have the time to um, really 
round out the game that they wanted to play. And it was so, so heavily uh, glitch-ridden that it became ah, recognized okay, as one of the worst games ever made. What was it, the, the Dreamcast one? Yeah, well, that's what, this, the Dreamcast one was Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Right? And there's Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, where people went, like, this isn't Sonic. But they were like, this isn't <laughs> a bad game. There's a, there's a lot of flaws in here. But there was parts of it that actually were fairly enjoyable. There was actually an interest. It was interesting to finally hear Sonic speak and stuff. But the um the reboot 06 is like globally <laughs> like it is like on the top ten list of most people who go like yeah Sonic went to shit at that point that was really where it all went bad and um, a lot of people still recognize it to this day some of the best videos I actually did watch it was like the, the game from God guys. damn it you can jump now if you yeah I was gonna say you can actually jump to avoid that um. So the Game Grumps guys playing through Sonic 06 is one of the funniest fucking video series on their channel. And it's like a hundred episodes of just somebody, like, do you know why you were losing your mind with just like <laughs> levels of yep. Sonic? Imagine a guy who really, really is into video games, who's seen every single physical flaw in games, and actually knows the game, and knew it was going to be bad before he even started watching it, and I'm being forced to play through every single element of the game. <laughs> it's, it is glorious and terrifying in equal measure. Which, to be honest, I would never wish upon you, but it would be very entertaining to see what your you reaction would be. You want me to do it, do it, do it, do it. it wouldn't be, no, it would be one of those things. I don't things would take us to do it. it would, like, I mean, it would, like, he's, like, he was actually like running into physical glitches that stopped him from being good at the game. Yeah. So. I don't have to worry about that. But that's the thing would actually like, literally be a situation where like, he, it, it takes a level of skill to be able to overcome a literal physical manifestation of how bad a game is. <laughs> Alright, I'll get you there for that. Unless you're done there for actually getting yourself a high B on that as well. Almost, almost the A. Almost an A. So, um, you've experienced a little bit of the classic song, a little bit of the modern Sonic. Which do you prefer? I think I would prefer this version of the Sonic I just played. Because this, the previous, the classic one, and the and the, and the 3D units is like sort of annoying my fucking head. It, it took you too far away from the classic to actually be like the classic. Meanwhile, this, you just accept that it's, that's the way it is. Yep. yep. I mean, for fuck's sake, it had, it had perception. <laughs> oh, look, you're too. You're not close enough, or it's a, it's a, it's far away. These these cows are close. Those are far away. Ah, uh, so essentially, you could track. You can actually home in. The homing attack is actually really useful in the modern game. Oh hell, fuck which was game. one of the only few things that people went like homing attacks worked. Like that idea of being able to bunch from enemy to enemy to enemy to enemy to make it through a section. Yeah. Well, let's jump into the next bit to see because we're going to be another cutscene, obviously. Okay. So the way the game works is that you actually have classic and modern Sonic. Um, obviously they haven't met yet, but the whole point is they're from two different realities, two different timelines, I suppose. So they said you're going to meet each other. <laughs> he was frozen in time. Come on, Tails. You goofy looking fuck. Black Sambo, something like that. Right? Tails has been ten minutes. Show. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like forever. Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? A little bit. <laughs> Not to me because he wasn't in it. No. Yeah. Ooh, totally radical. Cool, cool, dude. These books are saving aliens in an interstellar. Hmm. Oh, aliens. See where he mentions that. That's actually referring to a game yeah. of Sonic and the Magic, uh, the Sonic and the Magic Pages, and uh, Sonic Colors, two oh, games right. in the series that came out. Yeah, as part of the modern Sonic series. So, like him saying those stories, those are actually the those are the historical tales of modern oh. Sonic. Meanwhile, <laughs> they would never happen to this dude. When you said soon. <laughs> hey, doesn't speak us, brilliant. Doesn't say a word. <laughs> Sonic, you look shorter and younger there. Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> but turn around and just gives a thumb up and then runs away. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at the green. Look at the green. Well, it's a green hill. Yep. So that looks like a green hill to me. Mm -hmm. So switching between the songs allows you to choose which Sonic you're going to do the level as. Do the level as. So you either do classic mode or you do modern. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, is that the mold? Well, I mean, there's a whole bunch of actions, so there's an act you haven't played. <laughs> so whenever you go in here and you run around, there's actually item shops and stuff that upgrades your game, and you can save your game and all that kind of stuff, like with modern RPG stuff, or you can quit the game, which I wouldn't <laughs> recommend doing just yet. Yeah. Um, if you go back this way, so these are all the bits and pieces of actually like um, accoutrements and collections and stuff you get in the game. See, there, in fact, there's different versions. I'm just doing a speed thing. 
Oh. Yeah, so essentially what you do here, they find three boss gate keys, and that's how you actually get So you have to complete three sections, Act 1 and Act 2, to get the key, and then that key allows you to actually get into the boss. So, uh, I mean, you know, should we call it call today at this point for this one? Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Uh, no worries at all. Um, since you guys, if you enjoyed watching us playing um, Sonic Generations, you want to hear more stories about the gameplay of Sonic Generations, you want to actually come back and check us out this series a bit lower, because I would love to actually do a comparison thing. You want to see me break, don't you? No, it's more the fact that what I would love to do is actually we come back to Generations every time we've completed a section of one of the other games yeah. that is in Generations. Oh, God. <laughs> so, say, for example, like you, we've already done Chemical Plant Zone of Sonic yeah. 2. We go and do Sonic Chemical Plant Zone on the next episode of this. Sure, so makes sense. We'll balance it out so that they, uh, whatever story is related to that level, I can tell, and whatever uh, you remember from the game is actually being put across. And then you already know the level in the Generations level. So when yeah. you go play in Generations, you already know the level, so it's easier to get through. It makes, it makes it makes sense. It makes sense <laughs> I, to you. I have a I have a I have a system. I have a system how this is going to work. I so uh, guys, if you have actually entertained by us playing through uh, Sonic Generations, playing through the Sonic series as it has been so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's floating over the top of my head. This retro series is going to keep going. Uh, we want to know what you guys think of it, so make sure to like and comment underneath and tell us what you think of the game series as it goes along. And um, we'll be back. Play we will be back. Play more of your entertainment back. to dance like your monkey. We'll we'll be back. <laughs> So guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, remember, you can hit the subscribe button to watch the stuff here on the channel at any time and follow whatever comes out. And up here on the side, there's other episodes based on other playlists and other things we actually have done here on the channel over the last while. Uh, if you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and comment, and I will see all you dudes on the next console. Bye. Bye.